What is good, family? This is your girl. I am Courtney Michelle, and I am back with another video. You guys, I don't know if you've been keeping up with the drama at the Breakfast Club between DJ Envy and Black Ty himself, Tyrese Gibson, but it has been a whole ghetto days of our lives over there, and I've been keeping up with it all. Now, lastly, I reported on when Tyrese went to the Breakfast Club and thinking that they were hashing out the beefs and they were going to finally squash it. So I thought. Tyrese decided to go on IG Live and on there said DJ Envy was a liar and he had- Box you in the mouth. Over some shit. First of all, he he ha ha nigga, for real. But second of all, you lying on me, bro. You just making shit up. I got receipts. August 23rd, text messages. I'm not gonna show y'all what we texting about. Text messages, text, responses, text. Where is the person? This is his wife. This is first lady. Where is the person? She's giving me Rashawn's new cell phone number. August the 10th, 2022. The psych med and the supposed disrespect happened in 2017. So what I want us to do is I want us to be adults and I want us to leave the conversation alone and I want you to go ahead and keep wrestling with what you're wrestling with, which is that brother went out of his way and he was there for me and I've been laughing at him on my show. I've been talking shit. I've been throwing shots. I've been looking at the rumor report. We've been donkey in it a day in it. Read my captions and all my shit. And you've been just take every time a guest come on your show, you say, hey, man, what's up with Tyrese? However, I did not expect DJ Envy to respond. And he responded. And I honestly think that it probably would have been best if he would have said this out and especially let his wife be silent because it wasn't a good look. Let's go over the interview. I got so much to say. We're going to pick apart the lies and we're going to see who who is really in the right. Is it black tie, Coca-Cola bus man, or the beige waffle color Negro himself? <laughs> <laughs> DJ MV. To answer Tyrese, yes, he was blocked. Uh, and the reason I know he was blocked is because he had he Charlemagne and myself on a group text, and I never replied because I didn't see it. He did speak to my wife, and he wanted me and my wife to go on live, and he wanted to ish on his ex, Samantha. He okay, so Tyrese is saying that he wasn't blocked. DJ MV saying that, yeah, I blocked you because we were in a group chat, and I didn't see the group message. But then Tyrese hit up your wife. So you blocked them, but your wife didn't. And they're still going back and forth texting each other, but you blocked them? Does that make sense? He wanted to issue on, on, on his wife. Uh, and I actually texted him and I said, good morning. No, I'm passing on this. I, I thought you blocked them. But then you said, good morning, um, but you blocked him. But now you texting him, DJ, <laughs> Tyrese called you a liar. Thus far, a minute in, you are lying. I blocked him, but then I text him, good morning. I blocked him, but then he hit up my wife. Prayed on it, wasn't in the card, stay blessed, have an amazing day. Have an amazing day. Now I've, I've blocked a couple people in my life. Okay, first of all, if I block you, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not texting you. Good morning, have a blessed day. It's blocked. That means it's on site. Because I didn't want to be a part of him ishing on his wife, right? So then he said I was lying, and he never said anything disrespectful to my wife. Well, what he actually did was when they were talking. He was one of those dudes, and we all know that guy that tries to plant those seeds. If you had a man like me, it wouldn't have went down like that. I would have never. And I never said anything. Mm. And I'm going to tell you why I never said anything. Mm. I never said anything because, yes, Tyrese was there, and he did help save my marriage. And I was like, I just 
don't want to ish on that. So I just kept it quiet and I just stepped away from him. Am I am I the only one thing in this story is weird? So Tyrese is trying to get at your wife and do an R&B Joe all the things your man can't do move. And you don't confront him. You don't say anything. A man is trying to get at your wife. You don't say nothing because you want to remember the good times or when he saved your marriage. What did Tyrese do to save your marriage, DJ Envy? What'd he do? Y'all didn't call T.D. Jakes. You didn't call Ayanna Van Zandt. You didn't call your family members. You didn't call your best friend, the, the your best man at your wedding. You didn't call Dr. Phil, no counselor. You called Tyrese Gibson, who admit, admittedly said that he don't know you. He didn't grow up with you. He ain't know nothing about you, but something told him to come into y'all's life to save your marriage. What did he do to save it besides saying, sweet lady? It's not, is anybody going to ask that? What did Tyrese Gibson do? Because it's difficult because you have somebody that helped, but then you also have somebody that's trying to hurt. Mm -hmm. But me and my wife accepted the help side and he opened us up to a place where, you know, we were able to fix our relationship and fix our marriage. And our marriage is even stronger now. He opened y'all up. Giving real Adam 22 vibes. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Sounded like a love triangle. Then I got a text. July 8th, 2022. You, you got the text? I just sent you the text, right? That's somebody that works for Tyrese. You see that text? I'm looking at the text. Now, I never mentioned anything to anybody that he flirted with my wife. Mm -hmm. What does that text say? I'm not reading this. It says, yo, DJ Envy Blessings. Stay away from Tyrese, bro. He tried to destroy my marriage and career. He will do the same to y'all. Please, I'm open to talk to you. I'm not trying to gain anything from this. I'm just sick of the devil, and I refuse to know what I know and not tell good people what's up with that cat. Please stay away. He will try and get your wife. What's the date of that? Uh, July 8th, 2022. July 8th, 2022. So it, it actually says, please stay away. He will try to get you and your wife. So I can't. I can't. I'm going to have to make a graft. So in July, some random man that had no idea, you know, that you had no idea about, just out of the blue said, hey, watch out for Tyrese. He tried to take my woman. He gonna try to take yours. And this happened in July. But yet again, his receipts was still from August. So even after a month of you getting this alleged message from this random man, that I would ask, how do you know that Tyrese uh, and I are cool? I don't, you didn't say you asked him that. But some random man sends you a message about Tyrese Gibson in July. But his receipts show that y'all were still talking in August. So that didn't stop you from communicating with him. Who is this man? And why did he reach out? And you didn't tell this to Tyrese? Right. Shut up. Um, but that just shows that's him as a person. Mm -hmm. Then the guy, he posts his picture and tells, tells you his name, tells you who his wife. And who's to say this man wasn't lying? Like, who is this man? Somebody that DJ Emmy just made up. He fizz tells you the people he knows. He says, I want you to be real because that's what Tyrese did. He did he did it to me, flirted with my wife, and he's and he's doing it with you. He had no idea because I don't even know this gentleman. Mm. I don't know why y'all just didn't have that conversation when y'all was when he was just up here. Because I and didn't want to disrespect true. him. I was like, I'm just gonna tell him what it is. He just made it up and leave it at that. He apologized and I, he said it was the psych meds. Remember, he, um, it's the psych meds. Oh my gosh, I, I would never. Uh, da, da. Bull ish. Y'all lied to me. We sat here and had a whole hour and thirty minute conversation. <laughs> And now you saying all of this stuff after the fact, Tyrese saying all of this stuff after the fact. Mm -hmm. And you know what? You're absolutely right. 
Let's call my wife, please. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Jesus Christ. Am I on the radio? Yes, you are. You are on the radio. <laughs> so, okay. Again, this was a mistake to bring her on the phone. However, uh, I'm getting staged vibes. She comes on not even saying, hey, babe, what's wrong? You okay? A normal conversation when your man calls why he's supposed to be at work. As soon as he picks up, I'm on the radio. Lady, you knew he was getting on the radio. Y'all went over this this morning before uh, he came to the studio. You know. They need an Oscar. Uh, Tyrese uh, is calling me a liar. Uh, for people that don't know, uh, I stopped. I'm calling you one too. I'm talking to Tyrese and there was a reason why I stopped talking to Tyrese. Not because only did I think he was a bozo and full of ish but also because of the way that I felt he was talking and conducting business with my wife. Uh, so I'm going to step back and I want Charlemagne to ask the questions because I don't want you to ask. I want, no, I want you to ask. Charlemagne is not getting involved I in, want you to ask. in no way, shape, or form. People that don't know, uh, Tyrese helped save our relationship. When we were going through probably our lowest point and I cheated, uh, Tyrese came in and really helped us and guided us through our relationship, correct? How? How did an R&B singer from Watts with no credentials of being a marriage counselor just singing on a bus about Coca-Cola save your marriage? What did he do? What in the hocus pocus did he do? Oh, the side eye, I can't side eye enough. Yes, he did. Absolutely. And then we got to a point where we stopped talking to Tyrese. I even blocked Tyrese. Uh, and I wanted to box his mouth, uh, as I said the other day. And can you explain to the people why we stopped talking to Tyrese? Well, we stopped talking to Tyrese on two different occasions. Um, once many, many years ago, when he did do that, ama that amazing thing for us. So you stopped talking to him after he did that amazing thing to y'all. Come, 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 come. Oh. So after he did what he did to y'all, y'all stopped talking to him? Petty. Don't leave Ty like that out. Hurt him in feelings. Um. He and I became friends and we were very, very cool. And we spoke often. And a lot of times you'd be laying in the bed next to me while I was talking to him. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. So y'all stopped talking to Tyrese the first time because after he did that amazing thing, you stopped talking to him and then y'all got cool again. You in particular. And you laid up in the bed with your husband talking to Tyrese. I don't know what kind of magical power Tyrese got. Don't bring it over here, Tyrese. I <laughs> no sir. <laughs> Laid up in the bed with your husband, chit chatting and lollygagging and kikiing with another man, and y'all thought that was appropriate. And at first, everything was cool, but. For me, it got to a point where it became inappropriate and uncomfortable, where I felt as though lines were being crossed. It the lines wasn't crossed with you in the bed with your husband talking to him. And y'all was talking regularly, like, like you said, but there was some other stuff. So things started progressing. That's what you're telling me. You started talking more and getting more comfortable with another man that's not your husband. Now, mind you, DJ Envy, none of this would have happened if you would have kept your pants up uh, re regarding Erica Mena now. So you opened up this door, this Pandora's box, DJ Envy. And you felt as though lines were being crossed and we both decided that we were going to take a step back. And, you know, there was times where I felt like he was extremely demanding of my time. There were times, so that's plural. So multiple 
occasions, he was demanding needing your time. The first time that he, you saw something that was like, wait a minute, that should have been done, but you kept talking to him and multiple times that he wanted and demanded your attention. If this don't sound like a relationship, this is a full blown relationship. And of my attention, where if I didn't give him my time and my attention, he would get very angry, get very upset, and let me know what his expectations were of me. Uh, so Tyrese told you what he expected from you, and you obviously obli obliged because this happened multiple times. Uh, am I the only one that's seeing that this is a whole triangle of love? Wow. Wow. And, you know, at that time, I don't, I, I, I didn't feel as though he was going through any mental issues. I didn't feel as though he was facing any mental challenges at that time. I know that he does go through things and I know that. Sure, you do know that. But at, sure, you know a lot about Tyrese Gibson, a lot. That time I felt as though he was very clear minded and everything seemed cool but when i started to feel uncomfortable and you started to feel uncomfortable we took a step back well what lines were crossed people would be like well what lines did he cross yeah you know i don't really feel comfortable being specific i'm sure you don't because then you would tell a little bit more on yourself than more than you already have mm -hmm. um because at the same time I still do have a respect for him. I know that you still do have a respect for him. Um, I would feel more comfortable just being general and saying that, you know, there was flirting and inappropriate compliments for a woman who's married. Okay. I respect Is that. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Is that I, fair to say? I don't have respect for him, though. But, yeah, no, I get it, and you do it. And, you know, I, I appreciate that. What he so did. How did you see no, it? No, I know. No, I, huh? I know. I know that you're – I know that everything – that's going on right now. Um, and I know that he's being boisterous about it. I haven't been on Instagram in the last two weeks because we've been really busy, but you know, you've told me some things, but I haven't really seen it firsthand. So it's not going to affect me um, the same way it's affecting you because I haven't seen it. But what I can say is that. <laughs> I'm going to pause this. So she hasn't seen what Tyrese has been doing on Instagram. However, clearly her husband sees it. So you mean to tell me your husband is not showing you, hey, look at Tyrese, he's wilding out. You mean to tell me he's not telling you nothing? What what kind of fools do they think that the people are? DJ Envy has seen everything that's going on on IG with Tyrese. Tyrese is atting the man, literally. And your husband is not showing you nothing. You, you're just oblivious. Two weeks you haven't been on IG. Let's let's check that out, because you better not have posted nothing in two weeks, girl. Gia, G, Gia, I guess that's her name. DJ Envy, where you at? Where is your wife, Gia? This lady is a whole liar. She says she has not been on IG in two weeks, so she don't know what's going on. But literally made a post five days ago. These people, <laughs> we slow. I haven't been on IG in two weeks, so I don't know what's going on or what he's saying, even though I did go on IG five days ago and post about my kids. Yeah, I did. I I went on IG five days ago, but other than that, I haven't been on IG in two weeks. Very clear lines were crossed. And now, I get it. I, so how did you see it, Envy? Um, there's certain things that you don't say to a man's wife. There's certain things that you don't say to a man's girlfriend. Well, what'd he say? And then 
when he said it, how did she respond? Now that's what I want to know. There's certain things that you don't say. And I'm sorry to wake. I know you got to get the kids to school. I know uh, two got to go to school right now. So I, I appreciate it. But um, I just don't like to be called a liar. And when somebody says, I got receipts, I got receipts when I'm. DJ, DJ, you, you are a liar. You and that wife of yours has lied the, the whole time. And I'm sorry, Miss Gia is giving me, Gia, Gia, whatever her name is, is giving me real Jada Pickett uh, entanglement vibes. This is what this is giving me. And it's giving me that you was over there being Will Smith and was okay with it. But now stuff is about to hit the fan. Giving some real entanglement tea is what it's giving. Like, no, you spoke to my wife. Like, my wife. Like, what receipts? What do you mean he said he has receipts? Uh, because, I, you know, who knows? I, I wouldn't want to. I would, I, she, what receipts? What, what do you mean he has receipts? <laughs> Girl. Some videos and some pictures. Listen, I'm going to be honest. I don't want to be put in a position to divulge the things that were said. I know. But you if he's it. calling you a liar, it didn't have to go that far. If he's calling you a liar, then that's a step that might have to be taken. Because by no stretch of the imagination are you a liar. By no stretch of the imagination. Girl, he lied. He lied to you and deceived you with Erica Mena. So by all means, this man is a liar. Yes, he is, girl. <laughs> he he's a liar. Are you exaggerating anything? Okay. It's it was very clear. It was very inappropriate, and your reaction was very appropriate. Well, babe, um, I love you, and I know you got to get these kids to school. Let me say, let me say this, okay? I might have been born at night, but it definitely wasn't last night. And this whole story doesn't make a bit of sense. I wish I would be laying next to my man, texting uh, 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 Tyrese, G Tyrese Gibson of of anybody, Tyrese. And that's gonna be okay. He ain't my, my man gonna say nothing. And I, <sighs> there is no way, shape, or form that a married woman needs to be going back and forth with another man that's not her husband continuously as often as she says she did, especially with a man like Tyrese. Okay. All you gotta do is is the same sweet lady. It's over. <laughs> I mean, no, you don't put yourself in that situation, but you continuously did for some reason. I don't believe these people at all. And you know, Tyrese, I think he's at the point where he don't have anything to lose. He's lost his wife, problems with trying to be a father. So right now, you know. Ain't no telling what the next IG Live might expose. But it's more to the story. Breakfast Club, Days of Our Lives, As the World Turns.